Hello, first of all, sorry for posting this video so late, I had some issues. But nonetheless, do you see these 9 interesting coins? Wrong, there are 18 interesting coins. <coughs> Finally, I got the all regular circulation coins from Croatia. And so, today we will take a closer look at these awesome coins. The first interesting thing about Croatian coins is that all coins have two different variations, as I already showed before. One type of Croatian coins has the name of plant or animal in Croatian writing, and the other type has it in Latin writing. Besides this, coins with Croatian text are issued in odd years, but coins with Latin text are issued in even years. What an interesting division! And actually getting the Latin text coins was a lot harder, because they are scarcer than the coins with the Croatian text. And of course the last coins I didn't have were with Latin text. Second interesting thing about Croatian currency is about their name, which is Kuna and Lipa. One kuna is worth 100 lipas, and the word kuna in English translates as a marten. It's that nice weasel-like forest animal, who in my eyes resembles Dashund, and is actually quite an agile hunter. The use of this word refers to medieval times, when marten pelts were used as a payment in trades, and is still in use in Croatia, now in the form of currency. And the word lipa? In English means an linden tree. The name Lipa was chosen because it's quite common tree in Croatia and besides this it was very common in marketplaces and its name is easy to pronounce. And Croatian currency actually is quite rare in this sense because their names have been chosen as derivation from animal and plant names which is not a common practice throughout the world. And this is also why behind the number of Kuna coins there is an image of a marten, and behind Lipa coin numbers you can see linden tree leaves. By the way, leave a comment under the video which of the Croatian coins is your favorite. Mine is 5 Kuna and 5 Lipa. And now one bittersweet fact. This is the last year when Kuna and Lipa will be used as an official currency in Croatia. It is so because it's expected that Kuna and Lipa will be replaced by the Euro on January 1st, 2023. The final design of Croatia's Euro coins has been finally approved just a few days ago, on May 4th. This actually is the second approval of the final designs, because originally there was some problems with one Euro design, and it had to be reworked due to some plagiarism issues. But now it's finally approved. And I have to say, I like these coins a lot. It will be fun collecting all of them. Just so you know, 2 euro will feature an outline map of Croatia, 1 euro will feature the Martin or the Kuna, 50, 20 and 10 cents will feature an image of young Nikola Tesla, and 5, 2 and 1 cent coins will feature 2 letters from Glagolitic alphabet, forming HR, which is international abbreviation of Croatia. And by the way, Glagolitic alphabet is the oldest known Slavic alphabet. I hope you also will like these coins, because as I said before, I really like them. But now let's return to current Croatian coins and finish looking through them. Due to their low value since 2009, the 2 and 1 Lipa coins are only minted as part of annual coin sets, but they are still in circulation. And this wraps up all Croatian coins. Of course, I also created a coin holder for these awesome Croatian coins, and they will be put on the world coin wall, becoming the ninth country on there. It turned out a bit larger than I anticipated, but I think it looks really nice. And I think I found the perfect spot among other countries already on the wall. I think I need to start finishing sets from outside the Europe. Now, how do you like this coin holder? Leave a comment, I would really like to know your thoughts. Also, this coin holder is up for the next giveaway, so if you'd like to win it, leave a comment stating that you want to participate in the giveaway, and on the next video I'll draw the winner. But now regarding the previous giveaway. We had a coin holder from Latvia with 2 euro coins, 
and now it's time to draw the winner for it. This time we had a super huge activity, 32 participants in this giveaway. Big thanks to everyone who participated. And as I promised in the previous video, I will draw a few extra prizes. One financial literacy coin card and two uncirculated financial literacy coins to spread that money tree among my viewers. And the winner for coin holder is Rod Stretch Party Band. Congratulations! And the winner for the coin card is Gonzalo Morillo. Congratulations! And for the uncirculated coins, winners are Leonie Fritsch and Avash Bara. Congratulations! Big congratulations to all the winners. Please write to me on Instagram to claim your prizes. And big thank you to everyone who participated in this giveaway. It was really fun making this. And this wouldn't be possible without you. So thank you very much. But that's it for this video. Smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel. If you like my coin holders, consider checking out my Etsy page. And see you on the next video. Bye!